Hello everyone, hope you are well and safe. Welcome to another tutorial sponsored by Digit Space. Today we have SHT21. It's a digital temperature and humidity sensor. I've tested a lot of these modules with Arduino board. You can check the full playlist below. So this is the SHT21. It has four pins, V in and ground for the power. We're gonna use 3.3 volt from the Arduino. And then it has SCL and SDA, which means it uses the I2C interface. Here on the screen, you can see some module specifications. For the range, it's from minus 40 to 125 degrees Celsius for the temperature, and from 0 to 100% for humidity. The resolution can go from 0.04 up to 0.01 for the temperature and 0.7 up to 0.04 for humidity. The accuracy is 0.3 degrees Celsius for the temperature and 2% for the humidity. I'm going to interface this module with the Arduino board as I said. Then we're gonna use with our OLED screen from Digit Space 2 and then with an LCD. So first let's wire this module. So the wiring is done to save some time. And here we have V in and ground is powered from the Arduino by 3.3 volt and ground and then we have SCL and SDA is with A5 and A4 just the usual I2C interface and now I'm gonna power the Arduino and check some codes so now the Arduino is powered and the best code I like to start with is the I2C scanner and here it's already uploaded the Arduino board I'm gonna open the serial monitor of course the module is wired and here as you can see we have a device found at uh, 0x40 which means that the module is working well after that we have to download a library this is the library I'm using and it's easy to download I'm gonna leave the links for everything in below and here you just download point .zip library and then in the Arduino you're gonna install it to install a library is very easy just sketch include library and add point .zip library and then you look for the file you have just downloaded and the best code to start with is just a example from the library here ex after you install it example this is this one I'm gonna upload the serial monitor sorry to the Arduino board and test it with just the serial monitor here it is as you can see we have the temperature in Celsius and humidity in percent it's the easy way to test your module now I'm gonna add my OLED screen it's very easy to it uses I2C and we're gonna check uh, some uh, codes on how to display temperature and humidity over here so here I already wired my OLED screen and it's very easy it uses the same pins as the SHT21 SDA and SCL ground and 3.3 volt so here I just took the wires from the module so this is the code I'll be using and here I have my two libraries one for the SHT21 and the other one for the OLED screen then we have our screen width and height of course if you are using another version you have to modify it here so here we declare our display and the SHT21 here is where I store my values temperature and humidity to begin the I2C communication for the module and for the OLED so here I just read my temperature and humidity using these two functions they give you the humidity in percent and the temperature in degrees Celsius so and those function concerns the display and you're gonna see how it affects on the OLED screen so now let's upload the code and check the result. So here we have the temperature and humidity in real time because we don't have any delay over here. So you, they are fluctuating. And as you can see, we have a pretty high uh, resolution so this is a way to display both values now we're gonna check another code so here is the second code and now instead of Celsius we display Fahrenheit for our US viewers and it's the same as the previous code we are now just playing with the functions 
and we're gonna upload the code to the Arduino and here of course to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit it's very easy multiply by 1.8 plus 32 so this is another way to display as you can see sometimes it shows the humidity and sometimes the temperature for uh, each of them has two seconds of uh, display you can change this delay if you want so now we're gonna pass to the LCD for the LCD users so here again I already wired the LCD and here we have the code it's just like uh, pretty much like the OLED here we declare the LCD pins and please note that I'm using an I2C LCD not the standard version and here I'm just displaying the temperature and humidity let's upload the code and check the result we have seen a lot of tests using this LCD you can check the previous tutorials so here as you can see we have the temperature and humidity just like the OLED so in the link right below the video you're gonna find all the wirings libraries and codes I've used for this tutorial Thank you for watching and see you next time.